Assalamualaikum mtazamaji tunakushukuru zaidi kwa kuzidi kukomea KUTV kwa mizizi ya habari na vipindi mbali mbali karibu na tuingia katika safu ya michezo ambapo wachezaji kuuguza jeraha ni jambo ambalo huchangia katika baadhi ya timu kukosa kuwahitaji na hata kushindwa kupanda daraja katika mambo tofauti kote nchini na miundo msingi na kwa wakati huu mtazamaji mwanahabari wetu Peter Maura anaangazia visa vya wachezaji wenye majeraha kutelekezwa pamoja na kudumu au kudumu eh, ya tiba ya maungo kwenye makala ya ganga ganga michezoni uh, in the knee there are two tendons in between they cross each other they hold the knee together so one of them uh, i severed it so i only remained with one so the stability of the knee was not so stable november mwaka 2018 timu ya taifa ya raga wachezaji 15 ilianza safari ya kusaka tiketi ya kushiriki kombe la dunia awamu ya mwaka huu nchini japan ni katika kipindi hiki ndipo wachezaji watatu dalmas chitui colman were na martin wila waliuza majeraha baada ya kushiriki mechi dhidi ya ujerumani hong kong na canada Mezi mitatu baadaye ripoti ziliibuka kwamba wachezaji hawa walikaa kwa kipindi cha mezi mitatu kabla ya kupata huduma za afya. Kulingana na shirikisho la raga nchini, kulopatikana kwa madaktari upasuaji na migogoro kuhusu bima ya afya wachezaji ndio sababu kuu wachezaji hawa kukosa huduma za afya kwa muda ufao. Japo wachezaji hawa walipata huduma baadaye, tatizo la wachezaji kutelekezwa pindi tu wanapougua wanapowakilisha klabu au timu ya taifa na kulazimika kutumia mipango mibadala ya kupata huduma za afya hayako tu katika ulimwengu wa raga Safari ya mchezaji Dakon Ongino kwenye raga ilifika kikomo baada ya mshikilo upasuaji So I went to a facility a uh, popular one in Nairobi I would name mention because they didn't do a good job uh, that, that only made it worse because for them they focus on my insurance cover. In Kenya you have to be very careful the hospitals and uh, caregivers actually inquire what insurance cover you have to what extent you're covered then they tailor make your treatment to that cover. I, I was on crutches for like uh, around 4 or 5 months but the injury didn't get well yet. actually there was out of pain with it and uh, the knee didn't get strong at all. Yes, so when I would try to work it out in the gym, it would just be painful. So somebody advised me to go to Kijabi, in uh, the Kijabi hospital in Kijabi. Yes, in Kijabi, yes. So there were some American doctors visiting and I was told they usually go there every year and they do pro bono, they do free consultation and surgeries. As long as you have NHIF, they'll, they'll do the surgery. So I went there, I got a diagnosis, they told me what happened explained that like I went for a surgery somewhere and they told me these guys actually they messed it up even further. Dakon alitamba katika ulingu wa raga akichezea timu ya raga na kuru kabla ya kujiunga na Black Blood RFC aliwahi mataji si haba kipindi ya nasakata raga kabla ya kujeruhiwa. If I would have gotten the right diagnosis and the right treatment definitely I would still be playing even right now I think I think but because uh, the limitations of care and also of uh, surgery capabilities at that time in Kenya uh, I could not continue playing Ukosefu wa mindo misingi kutelekezwa na washikadao na mifumo isiyofaa kuhudumia wachezaji wenye majeraha ni baadhi ya sababu za kuongezeka kwa visa vya taaluma za wachezaji kukatizwa mapema hapa nchini Oktoba mwaka 2018, mlinda langu wa timu ya Sony Sugar John Wao aliungua jeraha la goti akishiriki mazoezi kabla ya msimu wa ligi kuu nchini ya soka kwa Nanga kulingana na mkataba wake na timu ya Sony usimamizi wa klabu ya Sony ulifaa kushughulikia matibabu yake lakini matukio ya kuvutana yalimlazimu wao kutafuta njia nyingine I came back for again uh, training kiasi ni la precision kakata kambia doc na feel Yota kutembea a distance of 400 meters ilikuwa ngumu. Kambia doc ile taji niangaliwe. So uh, to go to the uh, company's uh, hospital wakani check then wakani refer for further check up. Shirikisho linalosimamia soka duniani FIFA 
ilichapisha sheria zitakazofuatwa kabla ya vilabu kupata leseni ya kushiriki madimu ya mashirikisho ambao ni wanachama wa FIFA sheria hizi zibania kuhakikisha kila klabu ina uwezo wa kuwahudumia wachezaji makocha na mashabiki wake katika vitengo tofauti kikiwepo kitengo cha afya ya wachezaji Makongamano ya kuelimisha wasimamizi wa vilabu kuhusu sheria hizi yameandaliwa na shirikisho linalosimamia soka nchini FKF kushirikiana na shirikisho la Kabumbu Barani CAF huku timu 16 za ligi kuu nchini na 20 za ligi ya daraja la pili NSL zikiwakilishwa. Kufikia mwaka 2018 vilabu vingi vinavyoshiriki ligi kuu nchini vilikuwa vimefaulu kutimiza asilimia hamsini ya sheria hizi maarufu club licensing regulations japo ni asilimia hamsini, vilabu vingi havijatimiza kipengee cha A na B cha sheria hizi hii ndio sababu vilabu havina mifumo kamili ya kuwashughulikia wachezaji pindi tu wanapoamia uwanjani most clubs wana insurance so after player kiumia ha huh? wao ni mzuri tu wakati leo grab but ukishatoka ukiaumia utatafuta replacement wataka hapo yeah. kimi tendelea most players wanaumia sana 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 i can't mention names here but wanaumia wanapata injuries wamejishughulikia but ushajishughulikia those clubs want them back to those teams to perform again for them takriban kilomita 4 kutoka jiji kuu la Nairobi kuna kliniki ya kipekee kliniki ambayo imewahudumia wachezaji kipindi wanapata nafu baada ya kufanya upasuaji kliniki ya tiba maungo ya Afrika Mashariki maarufu the East Africa Physiotherapy Sports Clinic chini uongozi wa Lamek Bogonko kliniki ya tiba maungo ya Afrika Mashariki maarufu East Africa Physiotherapy Sports Clinic ni moja ya kliniki chache inayowapa wachezaji tiba za maungo Kenya still we are lagging behind in terms of uh, the number of physios because I think in, according to the World Rugby no World Health Organization who they have a they have a, a ratio of how many patients are physios supposed to see per day uh, There are so many physios who have realized that uh, sports physio is very interesting in this uh, so there are so many guys who are who are now practicing into sports physio Tabibu wa maungo anachangia pakubwa kuhakikisha wachezaji ni shwari kiafya wanaposhiriki mechi lakini kuwepo kwa mechi nyingi na michezo kuwa kitenga uchumi cha kipekee wachezaji ulazimika kushiriki mechi kabla ya kupata nafuu kamili There are situations where people have been forced to play with an injury but always always the, the decision must be made how bad is the injury is it something terrible because nowadays there are more techniques like strapping taping and so that the, the player can be able to perform Kikusi cha kuwahudumia wachezaji pindi wanapoogua kinahitajika katika kila timu japo mashirikisho na timu tofauti nchini zimeweka mifumo ya kuwapa wachezaji huduma wanapojeruhiwa visa ya wachezaji kutelekezwa wanapoogua jeraha bado vinaongezeka Peter Mwaora Ganga Ganga Michezoni KUTV